When we are working with Visual Builder Studio, we might come across a common scenario wherein we have a requirement to delete the Git repository. Suppose if we have created some Git repository accidentally or if we have given some wrong name, then our customer or our project lead could ask us to either delete the Git repository or rename. So only option over here is to delete the Git repository and create a new Git repository in our Visual Builder Studio instance. Let's see how we can delete a Git repository. In this instance, I'm having a couple of Git repositories that is in HCM help desk project. That is HCM extension Git, absence, demo and other one. So I will try to delete this HCM extension dot Git. So in order to delete the Git repository, we have to go to the Git option over here in the navigation menu. From the drop down menu, we have to select the appropriate repository. I am focusing over here to delete the HCM extension Git. Go to the ref. Suppose if you want to delete any branch, you can come over here. Click on this delete. It will delete the remote branch from your BBS or the Git repository. Now if you want to delete the main, when we delete this main branch, automatically the Git repository will be dropped or deleted. Now if you see over here, it is grayed out. Now delete icon is grayed out. We are unable to delete over here. Now the question will come how we can delete this repository. One option is you can go to the settings over here or we can go to the menu and select the project administration. Click on this. From here we have to select the repositories that is over here. Click on this. Then you would see our HCM extension dot delete. So we have to click on this menu and we have to click on this delete. It will ask this will permanently delete the HCM extension git from the project and the action cannot be undone. You have to be very careful when we are deleting any git repository. Suppose if you have any critical source code which is available in this repository, you have to take a backup before deleting this repository. I will check my, I understand this repository will be deleted permanently and click on delete which has deleted our git repository permanently. Now let's confirm, we'll go back to the git. And if you click on the drop down, we are unable to see our fcm underscore extension dot git repository. Suppose if we go to the workspaces, here the workspaces will still be there, which is using this xtm extension. It would be better if you can delete these workspaces from here. Or if you want to launch, you can click on this launch. So this is opening the git repository which is based on your local branch which is in this git repository. So this is opening from the local branch not from the remote git repository. So from the remote git repository we have already deleted that particular repository that is hcm underscore extension. Your workspaces are based on the local git repository which will be maintained within the BBS runtime engine. So we can delete this manually over here after we delete the git repository or before deleting the git repository. Just take the backup of the source code before deleting the git repositories in order to be at the safer side.